tonight on the Howard Stern Radio Show. What are you, out of your mind? Look at, Look at that. Look at the back of your thighs. Gorgeous. What back of my thighs? There's nothing what there. What looking at? Jiggle. Jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have sex with Monica Lewinsky? Don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> Another mm. armpit sniff. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Keep going. 213, 214, 215. So, Alan, how is the uh, how is the rehearsals for Chicago going? <laughs> not, not at all That's like it. this. 217. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Howard Stern Radio Show. Now, the man of the hour, the king of all media, Howard Stern! Now, you know whenever we try to get you to read something, you put on that voice? Which voice is that? No, you're always like, you know... Uh, I know, if I, do it, if I do it serious, I sound like an idiot, and if I do it laughing, I'm selling it. He puts on this big smile, uh-huh. and like he tries to get into that joke man persona. Well, now he doesn't really reach joke man level. No, so he's caught in between joke man and <laughs> Jackie. You about this way too much, man. Because <laughs> no, like, I, true. I used to ask him to read stuff, and then he put on it. He puts this big smile on his face, and he's like, "Hi, this is Jackie." And uh, if you tell Jackie to read his plug right now, he can't he do it. Mess it up. Why I know. Don't you two just oh. keep looking at life from Please. the sidelines. Go ahead, read your plug. Do it. Read Give your plug. Him. What do I do? Tomorrow <laughs> afternoon from 5 to 7, I'll be at Strawberries in Avon, Aww. Connecticut. There it is. Yeah. Signing my new Oleo CD, Hot Dogs and Donuts. <laughs> 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 He's an he can't read. I know. His Thursday, voice is so November fried. November 12th, I'll be at Rascals Comedy Club in West Orange, New Jersey. How's that sound? Sounds like you better get there. Friday, I'll be at Robin's dies. apartment right. with a freaking axe. How's that? See, now you're good. <laughs> that sounds good. Thank you. Very when you're much. angry, you're good. I'll be at Ava. He's like Catherine Hepburn. Oh I'll be at Ava. Saturday night, I'll be at Ava. Let's get that shaky voice. I know. And uh, see me when you're fifty. And uh, you're gonna you're, you're gonna look like a question mark by the time you're fifty. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? He's gonna have a dowager or something? Oh, oh come on! All that exercise. Let me tell you something. I ran four miles yesterday in thirty-three minutes and thirty seconds. And Let's see you do that. No difference to your body. Oh, bull! Oh. Let me see you take your shirt off and look like a god like me. I'll go take your shirt off. I'll take my shirt off. And, and I look better. Say you look better. No, I will ask Fred. All right, who do you yeah. want to judge? Who do you want Let's to both judge? take Let's our shirts off. All the I got so vote. many compliments on how good I look. Let's ask Tara. Show. Surprisingly, Jackie looks good for a fat man. Yeah. Listen, I tell you what. Oh, you can all eat me. I tell you what. <laughs> you want to take off your happy. shirt? You want to take off your shirt right Let's now? Let's have it right now. All right. Bring it. Who's out there? Yeah, who's out there? Yeah, get get, get one of those unbiased people from out there. All right, who do you oh, trust, oh. Jackie? Howard, there's, no a ton, one... Howard, there's actually a ton of women in the green room. Who are they? There's a... There's a porn. There's a porn star. Ah. Um, I'm trying to remember who else is in. Why there. is there a porn star in our green room? Well, we're doing a contest in a little while. Can can one of them? They're impartial. I, I think so. All right. What you well, you I, abide I by that? So. By one so. of the porn stars' opinions? I think so. Yeah. I, I'm. I don't think I look that good. <laughs> oh, all right. You want to <laughs> sit down? Oh, bring him in. I'm nice. ready. Right. I'll bring in two girls. You know Hold on. I just bring am in two sick girls. Of you saying how fat I am because I'm not. No, I'm fat sick anymore. of you saying no matter how much I exercise, I don't look good. I think you I look, look horrible. good. Horrible. Can you come in? Uh, don't worry. I'll, I'll make sure I introduce you as not a porn star. Oh, oh just for a second. Uh, you, can leave, you can leave your stuff down. Okay. And can you come in? Me? Yeah. Oops. This is originally why we had you in this. He's just saying that. Oh, get over there and take off. So let's shirt. take off our shirts in front of the porn star. Get over here and take your pants. No, down. no, 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 no. This was not about me. It this sure better not you be. All right, here's some, what do you do? Are you a porn star? No. Okay. You're just a chick. That's a porn. That's star. right. <laughs> There's a porn star. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. All right, hi girls. All we want you to do is you, look at these two guys. You're a porn star. <laughs> yes, I am. You I'm are. Serenity. Okay, Serenity. Hi. Serenity. I've heard that name. And, and who are you? I've been on before. I'm Carla. <laughs> You're Carla. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna take. Come here, joke man. Oh, you fat hey, bastard. Come seven. here. We're gonna take off our shirts. Just tell us which body is better. Okay. <laughs> since I since I hang like oh, Jesus, look at Jackie. Hold yeah, on. He's stuck in his stomach. Oh, look at me. 
looking like a god. Get out of here. All right, all right. It's a battle of champions. Oh, oh, no, Howard. All right. All right. Both, you know, pump up, whatever, flex. Okay. Which body is better, girls? Come on, relax, Jackie. Oh, wow. <laughs> relax! Look at him! If, you, if he takes a breath, he's going to die. <laughs> I'm kind of intimidated by Jackie, so I like Howard's chest best. Why? What's, What's that mean? Intimidate. What does that mean, intimidate? You, who has a nicer, attractive Wait, what does physique? That mean, I, w I would like to touch Howard's chest more. Right. And what about you? Because you're a little bit bigger, Jackie. She didn't like you. Yeah. You're big. Yeah, and you're ugly. Go ahead. What, what about you? Yeah, I'm not into the big muscular look, so I, I do prefer the, the thinner. Lean. Lean. Jesus not Christ. Not into the big muscular look. Well, yeah. You're, Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Arnold standing fat? next to you. No, no. Nice. Yeah, you're muscular. muscular. Who has a well, better? Is, who has? Well, listen, as a woman. I just want to hear. Who it, has a fat. better physique? Can Can I touch to try? Yes. Please do. <laughs> oh, this is good. We don't, we now are really happy. Come on over oh, here. She's so afraid of you guys. You want to come over? Fred keeps saying I'm fat. Just say I'm not fat. I don't care. Well, Will you take a breath? No. I'm sick. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, now tell reaction. us what you're saying. Wow. What is wow? Who are you wowing about? <laughs> I'm actually wowing about you. That's, well, that's Who is you? <laughs> Howard. Howard, right? Yes. You like this? Yes, you're you're um solid. Yeah, yeah. feel this arm. Now go My feel that old goodness. man standing next to you. Oh. A pussy. Well, he doesn't have a small arm. No, no. no. But what, who has a better physique? You do. Thank you. Yeah. Am I'm I fat? You, Am no, I... you're not fat. Tell Fred I'm not fat. Fred, he's not fat. I'll tell you what. Hug the joke, nice. man, and then hug me and tell me who is better to hug. <laughs> all right? Okay. Oh, he's, he's hurting her. He's going to kill her. Oh, wow. All the oxygen hurt, came out. He's not hurting her. He's raping her. <laughs> uh, now, who's better? Well, you're more sensual. Uh, <laughs> I'm not only better, I am not only have a better physique, but I'm more sensual. We need to do this out on the street. Right, get out of here, oh, joke you man. always say that. It's not like you, it's not yeah, like oh, you can't oh. help her career. Yeah. Oh, get out. He just grabbed my genitalia. He wants you. He just grabbed my so genitalia. Bad. He wants you. He is so bad. He is he so bad. It. He can't take losing. Oh, that was so gay what you just not did. Not losing to you. You are so gay. So, girls, it is clear that I am better. It is queer. Yes. Right. 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 My skin tone is nicer. My physique is better. But, but that doesn't mean that Jackie's a loser. It, it. Yes, it does. Just, he just lost. He's just he's second just, to you. He's not he's not fat. Fat. All right. I really didn't expect it to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Why did your breasts get so big? I'm, I work out. Why doesn't it help your thighs? Come on, I don't have big thighs. Oh, he, he, <laughs> Let me tell you something. If we both took our pants off in front of these girls, don't need to do they it. would say my ass is better than yours and my legs are better than I'm yours. Not sure which underwear I have. I'm right. Uh, <laughs> I didn't check. Big phony. <laughs> Look at you! Right. You got spare tire. I do not. Oh. Robin, look at that! Look at There's this! No spare tire. Where's a spare Where's tire? tire? Where? You're screaming liposuction every five minutes. Yeah, because that's for jokes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm an Adonis. I got a nice body, right, Robin? Yes. Bastard joke, man! You're I made you eat your words. Like your started this crap. I'm starting to look like my poster. Yes, absolutely. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Put the mic down so we can hear you. You're back gonna your get thighs all slap up. against your chair. You're insane. Get out all of right, here. All right, so now the pants have to come off. You wanted the yep. contest to go first. You're going to say my thighs. You know what? Take a picture of my body. Yeah. Yeah. And when you hit 50, yeah. I want to see. You'll oh. see. I'll be in 10 times better shape than you. Please. You'll be dead. You, you're going you're gonna to make it. Take your pants down. Let me see. The, let me, wait, wait, let me show you something. I don't know what underwear. <laughs> where do you see? I don't either. But he listen. won't make it because you're going to Where do you see it? anything? Turn what are you, out of your mind? Look at that. Look at the back of your thighs. Gorgeous. What back of my thighs? There's nothing what is there. What looking at? Jiggle. Jiggle. <laughs> There's nothing back there. Happy Halloween. I'm oh, get out of here. You're He's insane. He's just making something up, being silly. He's trying. Stupid old man. Very anxious to take off my shirt before I get fat for the winter. No, you lost weight. You've been lost it like in the past couple of weeks. Did your breast get you? I'm benching a lot of weight. <laughs> does it look good? Looks good. It does? But you really are trying to look like that poster. What do you think? <laughs> what do you mean it's unnatural? I've always had a big chest. Yeah, but they were never hard like that. Well, if it's from I work out. Mm -hmm. You don't f work out. You sit at home and then you f computer you know looking at your animated joke page. Why, Why do you two kiss each other? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead for the first time. Yes. What? Yes. Let me see.
remember the guy that said bread makes you gay? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, 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 he's back. He's back. He's back. Now he says that, no, that, that rice man. will stunt your growth. <laughs> well, well, rice. Yeah. Well, the Chinese needs more of that. It's not as funny as bread will make you. And he also says that he can clean, he he can smell three women and tell which one is the vegetarian <laughs> by smelling their crotch. Oh, All right. Yeah. 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 Like an armpit? Where? <laughs> Sniff around where? Where's he going to be sniffing what? around, huh? Arms? Around. What is he, he going to do? I want to know where this guy is going to be sniffing. David Wolf says that he can smell a woman and tell if she's a vegetarian. Let's Who meet David Wolf. David Wolf? And why does he have this talent? I don't know. But we will find out in a second. Here comes David Wolf. He looks like a wolf. Well, he's got a nice nose on him. They don't don't put me on. You're saying you can smell a woman and tell if she's a vegetarian. Why oh, is that? How do you do that? He claims that there's a smell that comes off a body of a person who eats meat. Is yeah. that true? Okay, if you think about it logically, if you eat something that's dead, like a dead animal, right. meat, yes. is the woman going to smell better or worse? What do, you, do you have a book of some kind? What is your angle on all of this? Yeah, I got a book out. Oh, you do, I see. So you're going to be promoting a book? Sure. I see. Uh-huh. Um, and did these raw foods make him so happy? Uh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, all right. they do. So you want to try this now? Is that what you want to do? Oh, you better I, believe it, I can bring it, in three women I'm right ready. now. Let's see if he can do it. Now, how, when did you first realize you had this talent? Probably about five years ago. All right. And you're saying they don't need to go to the bathroom or anything like that. You can just smell, smell them. Smell the skin. The aura. Yeah. And the where aura. do you smell? Do you smell their arm? Do you smell their buttocks? What do you smell? Everything. You do. You will, you will actually sniff all over. You better believe it. What does he mean, aura? <laughs> you scary man. And yeah, you are scary. I'm going to smell you and see if you're gay. <laughs> And, uh, and, and and you've done this successfully before. Oh, sure. All right. Yeah. Let's bring in three women, Gary. I don't care who we bring in. This is our vegetarian sniffer, David Wolf. The first three women, we have Adara. Oh, Adara. Well, they certainly are available. I know Adara. Wow. I've known her for a long time. <laughs> I wish I knew her better. There's Monica and Serenity. All three women... All three beautiful women. Adara, we know you from Cleveland, right? Right. And um, you remember Adara, don't you, Robin? No. I did your New Year's Eve special. She did the New Year's Eve special. <laughs> and remember Adara got the breast implants? Well, I see that. Yeah, right. Very beautiful woman. Always liked her. Adara now is claiming that uh, she one of these women is a vegetarian. Okay. All right. And um, let me let me talk to uh, the second woman here. This is uh, Monica. Yeah. Monica, what are you? Are you an adult film star or something? Yeah. You are. Wait, well, <laughs> what about you, Adara? Are you doing uh, adult movies now? Um, I'm I'm working on it. Are you really? What do you do? You do like a club actor? Waiting for Serenity. I don't know. Are you in love with Serenity? <laughs> and Serenity, what about you? Are you attracted to women? Absolutely. You are? Absolutely. And you two have never had sex together? No, unfortunately. I keep trying to talk her into it. <laughs> you don't want to have uh, sex with Serenity? Oh, yeah, I oh, do. You do. Let's see you two kiss. Why don't yeah. you kiss right here for the first time? <laughs> hey, hey Come on. do I get a date with Shut up! <laughs> Why don't you two kiss each other? Yeah! Go ahead for the first time. What? Kiss? Let me see. Okay. Let's see if you're really lesbians. Oh my God, they are. <laughs> that is so sexy. <laughs> Damn it, I gotta get in on that. that. They're not kissing you, Howard. Oh, they I wish they were. You. I wish they would kiss me. <laughs> it works every time. <laughs> and what about you, Monica? Are you a lesbian as well? No. You are not. Oh. You think the two of them are crazy? You love men. <laughs> All right. I love men. All right. So now what we're here to say is that one of these women is a vegetarian, a, a, a full vegetarian, and I am going to allow David Wolf to uh, smell them right now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, I don't think that was necessary. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> All right, so now what we're here to say is that one of these women is a vegetarian, a, a, a full vegetarian, and I am going to allow David Wolf to uh, smell them right now. All right. All right, well, first woman you're going to... All right, that would be Adara. Very beautiful woman. Oh, he's smelling he, right in the armpit. He's smelling her armpits. And now, he's smelling her chest. Between the chest. <laughs> How do we know this guy's oh just had some... Pro- <laughs> he's smelling her crotch. He's like a dog. He's like a dog. <sighs> All right. All right. Do you want to on. say something about Adara, or you want to hold your? Uh... We'll hold off to the. You'll end. hold off to the end. All right. I now go if smell. Perfume would throw him off. Who knows? Who cares? She's What's already thrown off. I want to smell them to find out too. 
Here is uh, Monica. David is smelling her armpit. How He's about now- you doing it too to see yeah. and, and then finding out the result? I'd be happy to. <laughs> I'll smell them. All right. I think you should do it next to see who's better at this. Maybe this guy's. Mm. This guy wow. could have just escaped from the mental hospital know, and just came in here to be checked. Serenity here, huh? All right. Serenity. Oh here goes David. <laughs> David, smell serenity. Uh. He smells her armpit. I wonder if I could detect a different smell. No, it's right in there. He does? Yeah. I need to do that. Does he have any credentials? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, who knows? <laughs> Big nose. David, before you, uh, make a, a, um, before you make a uh, comment, may I smell the girls to see if I detect a difference in smell? Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and you, you tell us who you think the vegetarian is. All right, girls, would you mind? I would of love for you to. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, hold on. Portable headphones? No, I don't, Robin, but it will not slow me down. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, the engineer, wishes he could smell. <laughs> well, you can't. Hello? I have portable headphones. <laughs> I have portable headphones. Yes, I do. Ugh. All right, I will smell Serenity first. Okay, Are you ready? Going the other way. <laughs> Howard is now in the armpit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now in the cleavage. <laughs> I, I have no idea how this guy could smell anything. They're all perfumed. Well, wait a minute. Keep what? going. I'm going. Don't worry. <laughs> there must be some hint. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> now, I don't think that was necessary. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> All right. You found a new thing to do to women. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. Mm-hmm. Another armpit sniff. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, Take a little bit longer than you took. <laughs> oh. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, let me smell you. And now you go to the last girl. (laughs) Doing a full body sniff. (laughs) All right, I know which one uh, eats. um, I know which one is the vegetarian. All right, which one is it? All right, should I let David make his prediction first? No, I want you to make your prediction first. All right, I'll make my prediction first. I don't care. I have to write anything down. The vegetarian would be Adara. Really? Based on my nose sampling. Let's okay. see what David has to say. Howard, I'm going to have to disagree. Who do you think it is? I think it's the one in the middle here, Michelle. Mm. No, that's uh, uh, Monica. <laughs> Monica. 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 Which will the girl who is the vegetarian step forward now? Serenity. All of you oh, are wrong. Wow. Ha, ha, ha. All wrong. Ha. Well, so. It's one thing if I'm wrong, but David's supposed to be an expert. Yeah. <laughs> David, you're a loser. I'll tell you what. They all eat some animal foods. If, oh, if Serenity is not a vegan, she still I'm eats some dairy oh, products. Not. You I'm do not eat a t- vegan. You're not a vegan. Vegetarian. Yeah. You're a vegetarian. You don't eat meat or fish. Right. I see. But you eat eggs and milk or something? Right. I'm lactose and avo tolerant, or however you say that. Lacto uh, ovo vegetarian. I am lacto ovo vegetarian. Well, you oh. still didn't pick it out, right. David. Yeah, David, you didn't pick it out. But you all smelled good, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll give you one more shot. I got okay. three different women. All right. All right. Thank you, girls. And David, you are horrible at this. Well, let's give him another try. Okay, I got to take a break and, and then I'll give him one last right. shot. You, what do you mean you got distracted? <laughs> You're an animal. What? Her breasts were so large that. Oh, I- get out of here. That shouldn't have anything to do with it. It's on. So, Monica, what was it that. Uh- what was it that made him think it was you? I don't know. I think it was the, the, the real ones. <laughs> so Serenity, it was you? It was me. The vegetarian was you? Yes. Wow. Yes. And you didn't smell any di- And you didn't smell any different than, than the rest of these girls? Apparently not. <laughs> saving myself. Is that right? Are you a virgin? You smelled her to see if she was a virgin. I could smell and tell right away that you're no virgin. I like you with my crotch sniffed. What do you mean it's nice? Howard nice sense when, even if you like think he's being, he's being nice, but he's cross sniffing. Sniff some girls that yeah. really do this. <laughs> All right, Robin, let's do this real quick. Let's bring back in this uh, David fellow. What's his name again? David Wolf? David Wolf. All right, this is ridiculous. He flunked so far. 
Yeah, you didn't do any better, but I don't expect you to. David Wolf says he can pick out a woman who is a vegetarian by smelling her. Let's bring in our next three women, and, and, and then I'm throwing you right out of here. And wipe that grin off your face. Yeah, really, and stop <laughs> smiling. <laughs> Ashley, Carla, and Vanessa are coming in. All right. Here they come right and you now. I swear that one of these women is a vegetarian. All the women are beautiful, I'll tell you that. I mean, there's no problem with that. Meet or no, huh? I tell you. Meet or no meat. <laughs> wow. Everybody looks really good. All right, now now let me get this straight. First of all, uh, we have uh, Ashley. Where is Ashley? Okay. Ashley, hi. You're a very hi. you're a very beautiful woman. Thank you very much. Uh, Ashley, are you an adult porno star? No, I'm not. You don't look like one. No. <laughs> what 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 do you do? I I would um, model for Perfect Ten magazine. Oh, you're a Perfect Ten model as yeah. well. Wow, you're really pretty. Thank How old you. are you? Nineteen. Perfect age. Oh, thank you. That's the age I like. And and do you uh, sleep with men yet, or are you saving yourself? I'm saving myself. Is that right? Are you well, a you virgin? You smelled her to see if she was a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I could smell and tell right away that you're no virgin. No. <laughs> you're not I can smell it from here. You're not a virgin, are you? No, I'm just kidding. Wow. Uh, now, now, who is this? Carla. All right, we met you before. Yes. Carla, are you a porno star? No, I'm not. What do you do? <laughs> I'm a student. You're just a student? Yes. And uh, let's go to um, Ashley. <laughs> no, no, Vanessa. Vanessa, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm screwed up here in my notes, as usual. Vanessa, are you in Perfect 10 magazine? Yes, I am. You are. That's what I figured. And uh, you, uh, all of you look perfect. All right, I'm going to have David Wolf now smell the girls. He cla- Girls, he's going to smell you, and he can claim, he's claiming anyway that he could pick out the vegetarian. Go ahead. Wow. <laughs> all right, we'll start here. He goes here. getting distracted go. again. <laughs> He is sniffing her arm. He is sniffing her chest. I bet you don't have to do all this. What a, what a job. <laughs> what a jo- there is no job like this. And he is smelling their crotch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he should be locked up. Let's stay back. Oh, <laughs> no. All right, go over to uh, Carla now. Carla. All right, Carla's armpits are being smelled. She's getting the treatment. <laughs> he, she skipped her breast and went right to her crotch. Yeah, Coming obviously. back to the breasts. All right. Oh, he figures he'll change his technique. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, he claims that uh, he can smell animal products on a woman. He's an animal. All right, going over now to, uh, of course, the beautiful Vanessa. <laughs> I'm shy of you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. He's a professional smeller. <laughs> <laughs> David, do you do this at family reunions? <laughs> yes, you should have Thanksgiving dinner, et cetera. He is woozy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> all right. Now, all right, I'll, I'll give it a shot. All I don't right, profess you know. Girls, like do you mind that. if I smell you? No. no. Go ahead. Of course not. If you've got that animal smell you, you shouldn't let me mind yeah, I love a guy <laughs> named Wolf who won't eat meat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some wolf. <laughs> all right, let, Robin, I'm going to try and use this microphone. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Of course it does not work. Yes, it does. It does? All right. Hey, let me have this one. I like this one better. It sounds good. All right, let me start over here. The same place that David went. All right, hold on. Let me uh, smell you, okay? Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't even know what I'm smelling for. Well, you're just smelling. Wow. Not only are you perfect tanning, you don't even smell. Like, there's no even odor on her. All right, let me smell you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me. I touched your breast. All right, wait a all right. I've done my smelling. I know who is the vegetarian. All right, who is this it? time, David, you go first, and I'll tell you if I agree. Okay. The vegetarian is Carla. I'm in full agreement that Carla is the who vegetarian. Is Carla? Carla is number two. Right. Carla or whoever is the real vegetarian, please step forward. And it is Carla. You know how I knew? And I didn't smell a thing. Can I tell you how I knew? She was the only one who wasn't from uh, that. Perfect Ten magazine. <laughs> That's what I did. You did the same thing. Admit it, David. No, I can tell. No, you oh, you lying dog. You could not. You could not. You were guessing. I should wait a second. The other two girls are from Perfect Ten. Right. They're busy well, running around eating meat. And why would Carla be here? That was to throw you off, Howard. Oh, please. It didn't throw us off, though. It's obvious. It was obvious. It's too obvious. Yeah, well, anyway, I want to thank the girls. Girls, you want to plug anything? I guess you're just here to plug Perfect Ten? Yeah. <laughs> just the magazine. And what about David Wolf? What does he want to plug? 888-RAW-FOOD. That's my website, too, rawfood.com. The raw food diet, raw vegetarian diet. Very simple, totally fun, 
save the earth, feel great, pick up hot chicks. What more could you want? I'm sick of you. All right, thank you, David Wolf, and uh, thank you, girls. And there it is, the man who can smell women. No, he can't. <laughs> he did as good as I did. And you. And you didn't even smell I anybody. Smell a soul, and I know. All right, thanks, ladies. That was great. And uh, David, go back to your website. It's now over. So Carly guessed it. Yes, he got it right. Yeah? It was pretty obvious, I think. <laughs> Carla, that was easy. The other two, I was torn between Serenity and, um, and Monica. And it was like, I, sh I went kind of against my intuition, so I shouldn't have done that. But hey, you know, one out of two ain't bad. This kid's a regular Macaulay Farkin. <laughs> Eleven-year-old father yeah. came in with the whole family. I mean, it was like five-year-olds, six-year-olds. I mean, the mother is here. <laughs> family alley. Yeah. Our boys are star. Sorry for the delay. It's just uh, we're running a little bit behind today. Um, I'll do my best to get it on as quickly as I can. Okay. All right. Thank you. Talk to Shane. I like me. You know, you know what you're doing. The band's mile and crisis will be. You're good. That's enough. That's enough. We didn't have no time, but we did 446. We just kept going right in a row. I mean, he could, he could, he could do a thousand if you want him to. You got the uh, the whole family there. I think is that kid going on today, or is he gonna get bombed? Yeah, no. He's, we should make it, but I do this first. Hi guys, how you doing? Yeah. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Casey. Good, good, yeah. Hi, Casey. How are you? I'm tenure in school. Yep. They hate to have a good time. Okay, don't be nervous. Well, I'm here to do Chicago uh, on Broadway, which is a, a thrill, and uh, and I, I'm sure Howard will get me pumped for that. Hey, Matt, just figure this out. How many 11-year-old kids go on Howard's thing? Not many. Huh? Not many. Okay. I expect him to... Uh, uh, ask me if there are any naked lesbians in the production, and uh, uh, the answer to that, regrettably for Howard, would be no. <laughs> he, he could continue on, right, Matt? What? He could fart like a thousand if you wanted to. Right? Let's go, Howard, bring him on. <laughs> you know, the 11 year old, though, is out there who has been vomiting, and he's, 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 he threw up again. Oh, but you know no. what, Alan? Is he going to make uh, it? I hate to say this, but you know, Alan Thick is also standing by. <laughs> well, maybe Alan will come in and watch the 11 year old kid vomit. <laughs> I have to say, as a producer, I think we should get Alan on because he's the star. So why don't we get Alan on and let him watch the 11-year-old kid? Yeah. Uh, okay, that'd be perfect. <laughs> hey, help me out with something, all right? Because this yeah. kid's been—I do don't know. If you're offended by this, then don't then don't be a part of it. You can be honest with me. There's an 11-year-old kid mm -hmm. came in with his parents. Mm -hmm. I just feel like he's waiting out. He's vomited twice because he's so nervous to come on. Mm -hmm. He he gets five minutes to pass wind. <laughs> How many he can break get. A record. He's trying to break a record, this kid. Does he have to vomit and pass wind simultaneously? No, he, the vomiting has nothing to do with it. He got so nervous, the kid, that he vomited twice in our bathroom. Uh -huh. And he's just waiting out there, and it, it kind of, everything got bunched up. And uh, <laughs> I guess the waiting is killing him because he keeps vomiting. Mm hmm. Can the kid come in, or do you want well, to not be a part of that? Please, no. You don't uh, care, do you? The kid's a talent. I, I, I support a show business break. Why uh, not? For, when you were young, you wanted to be in show I business? To, I wanted to come and have wind on your show. Right. Sure. Uncle Frank's going in there. You ready to rock? Yeah. Uh, Let's roll. Here's Vomit the kid. and have guests simultaneously. Oh, cute. Ah, look at that. This is a good-looking kid. Handsome, handsome kid. Man. Now, are you the uncle or the father? Uncle. You're the uncle? Yeah. Get, get the microphones on, everybody. You're the uncle? Yeah, I'm the uncle. What's your name? Frank. Say hello to Alan Thick. Hi, Alan. How are you? Good, thank you. Alan's a good guy, good friend of the show. Alan, you've worked with a lot of kids on Growing Pains. This kid's a good-looking kid. He could be on TV. Yeah. What yeah. about a show, Alan, called Farting Pains instead of <laughs> Growing Pains? Yeah, Groin Pains. All right, kid, are you You're really good at this? Yeah. When did you realize you could do this? When I was about nine years old. No kidding. And, and, and mom, where's mom and dad? Right here. Hi. Are you proud of your son? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. It is a talent. and He's like... He's a talented kid. We're 11 years old. Most sphincters have not developed to the point where they could do something like this. Do you, do you have to have him on a certain diet to make this act no. work? No. I mean, it's not like Mexican food or anything. Fart. Fart. Who taught the kid how to do this? I don't know what he eats to fart. Who Myself. You taught yourself. Yep. None of your friends taught you this? Nobody. Where Is do you, you go to learn that? You know, it's like uh, theater. Where do you go now? Is it that you have a lot of gas in you from what you eat, or do you have a way of sucking air, air in? Air. You know, a lot of moms and dads wouldn't allow an 11-year-old to come on and do this, but I'm proud of you. 
you guys. The kid has a talent, and you're nurturing it. You're like tennis parents. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pushing, Seriously. Pushing. Do you sometimes wish your son had a talent more like tennis or, or singing? singing? He plays baseball. He plays baseball. It's, it's hard to make money with the farting. All right. Now, Alan Thick will be watching, which is very exciting. Alan, are you excited? Uh, excited may be one of the words, yeah. All right. Okay. Matt, we're going to let you do your thing. Does the room get very smelly when you do this? Sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes it does. Right. And, and so, uh, this is probably the first uh, farter we've had that has a whole family cheering him on right here. Wow. Yes, okay. that's nice to see. It's like an unfair advantage. It's like uh, the retarded Von Trapp family. You know what I mean? <laughs> you guys are great. I support you in this. I think it's terrific that your son is starting out at an early age and he's breaking his amateur status. All right. Do your thing. Okay. Nice kid. He's got his. He's got a position that he gets into. Oh, oh actually, he gets on go. his back. All right. I think I may vomit now. <laughs> All right. Here we go. That was one. Two. Three, four. As you can see, we have a timer going. Let me quiet down so we can enjoy this young man's work. A very unusual technique. Let's quiet down and listen. Howard. What? I don't know what's funnier, the kid's concentration or the look on Alan Thicke's face. <laughs> Alan, what are you thinking? What's going through your head? You know... Seeing it up close and personal, yeah. this graphically, right. is truly disgusting. <laughs> the kid is completely blocking us out. He is just, he's, let me just, let me get a count. Robin, we're up to 49. All right. How many minutes? The kid's legs are in the, he's on his back with his legs in the air. Yeah, he looks like he's having a gynecological right. exam. Robin, we're not even at a minute. Ooh. I wish my wife could get in that position. <laughs> yeah. Alan looks like he's the one who's far. No, you, 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 were, you were right. I am truly sorry to be part of this. <laughs> I know. I told you. I when warned you. just you. described it, it was okay. <laughs> but then actually being there. You Alan, know? you, of course, are in the, uh, you're in the play Chicago. That's very legitimate entertainment. But, uh, yes, hold it. But, can, can you say that again? What? How long did you give the Fortowski guy? That guy, no, that guy is not involved in this particular contest. He'll be coming in a couple of weeks. Different competition. But Different competition. For an hour, right? Yeah. This, this, kid, this is a five-minute competition. Who does his laundry? By the way, Alan, good call wearing the sunglasses today. Today, I think, yeah, yeah I was also thinking of a mustache and a beard. It wasn't you. <laughs> right, you could probably get away with uh, There was an Alan Thick impersonator. Yeah. This kid's a regular Macaulay Fartkin. <laughs> Let me say something. There's a minute 43 left. Oh, I see. There's more than that. No, we're going That's up. You're going up instead of down. He's only done a minute 43. Right, we have... Um, over three minutes left, and he, this kid's already at 100. I see a record. Oh, he's cooking, man. This gentleman, by the way, is 11 years old, and don't let his age fool you. The, 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 the immaturity of his sphincter doesn't seem to be <laughs> inhibiting him. He's, he's to be no limitations now. to his future. He's a, he is a phenom, Robin. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Alan, you're here for history in the making. I'm spellbound. <laughs> this kid's like a machine. Yeah. Doug, he's how's going. the count going? Going fine. Okay. It's great to have a hobby, though, isn't it? <laughs> You know, you know, it's also funny when he hit a hundred. Yeah. One of the family members put his hands up in the air like he just won the Olympics. Right. Yeah. Let's talk to mom and dad. They're in the stands. Uh, dad, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Right. Is this a genetic talent? You do this? No, I think it's a Haldeman thing. It runs in the family. Hey, mom, you're next. <laughs> how, how are we doing? He's up to 133, and the kid's got two minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. I, I sense a new winner is in the yeah. making. Gary, if he can, he's get the implode. Calling. Ask the kid how he's feeling. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get him a burrito. Some people, some people can talk while they do this. He needs his concentration. All right, back, Gary, I'll ask you to back off then. Yes, we'll talk to him after. <laughs> <laughs> so you segue right from here to golf announcement. Yeah. Well, you got to be quiet for people at home. People at home should be able to hear this, Alan. Yeah. Okay. Alan, you've accomplished a lot, but I don't think you've ever done anything like this. Howard, Thank, the family, thankfully, no. The, the family's looking for the count. At three minutes and 30 seconds, with a minute and a half left, he's at 155. Yeah, I, I sense a record can be broken. This kid is consistent. Go, kid. Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Oh, go. They're cheering him on now. Go, Matt. <laughs> Matt's 11 years old, Alan. <laughs> I hope his high school—I hope his school principal is listening. It's just there's no limit. 
There is no limit. So, so Alan, you know, this is a good sign. This this will keep him away from puberty. The parents will be will be thankful for this because when you're doing this, you don't meet girls. You know. So as right. long as the art of flatulence remains in the family, they have no worries Alan, about him. Yeah. No offense. Uh, let's let's all shut up because let's listen to some of the artistry going on. Here. Howard, it's getting it's getting tough because he's got about uh, it's about four. All right, let's all quiet down. I don't mean to be critical, but it's all one note. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what has he done? So, Alan, he's a one one trap. Trap. We're, we're up to one ninety-three, okay. and he's got he's got thirty seconds left. Come on, let's let's yeah. cheer this man up. Come on, Matt. Two hundred, two hundred, two hundred two hundred, right. two hundred two hundred, two hundred one, two hundred two, two hundred three, two hundred four, two hundred five, two hundred six, two hundred seven. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, two hundred eight, two hundred nine, two hundred ten. Uh, my God, it's that going on. There's 10 seconds left. 211, 212. Keep going. Keep, keep going. going. 213, 214, 215. So, Alan, how is the uh, how is the rehearsals for Chicago going? <laughs> not, not at all That's like it. this. 217. <laughs> Alan, not at like, not Robin, at all like. 217. This young man is getting up it's like nothing happened. I thought he'd be dizzy. <laughs> are you, Matt, are you dizzy? No. No? No. How do you feel? No accidents. No accidents in your pants? No accidents. Wow. I you. 217. Yeah. This is a new All record. Right. Matt, your name's going to go up on that board as the leader in this competition. Wow. What do you think, guys? Congratulations, Matt. Thank you. Stay here, Matt. Can you believe you did it? I, I knew I was going to do it anyway. That was a remarkable performance. Yeah, that really remarkable was. achievement. What a, what a young man. <laughs> and we'll, Great seeing uh, you, Alan. All right, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to step on that. <laughs> no, no. That thing is just still hot. Yeah, sure is. Have you ever seen, have you witnessed anything like that before? Or was that uh, the first not time? on purpose. No, no, not intentionally. You know, you just have to draw the line where what is a spectator sport and what is a participatory sport. And for me, I, I got I, that's a spectator sport for me. I, I can't. Uh, so I can't know. imagine being able to perform at that level. Do you think the athletes of today are better or more mediocre than the athletes of the past? More mediocre? What kind of English is that? More <laughs> mediocre. <laughs> mediocre? -er? Siobhan went out and interviewed Tony Randall at the Diabetes Fundraisers. Fundraiser? Fundraiser? Yeah, and... Now, he has nothing to do, you know, he was just there. He's not a spokesperson or anything. He just happened to walk in. Where's Siobhan? Siobhan, come on in. Come on in, Siobhan. This is Siobhan's first interview, huh? Yes. Yep. Well, we got some pretty interns this year. We really do. <laughs> Man. Uh, wow. You went out and you interviewed Tony Randall at the American Diabetes Fundraiser. Right. It's the first time you did this. Yes, my first interview. And I okay. think he was flirting with her at first. Is that right? Yeah, he seemed to yeah. be having fun with her. Having yeah, some flirtation? Oh, yeah, you're an attractive I woman. It. Yeah. I can see why. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Can I ask you a few questions for WXRK? Sure. <laughs> All right. What brings you here this evening? I was invited. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have an active role in this charity? No, 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 no. I just work for all the charities. If they ask me to come out and help with the, their fundraisers, I usually do. Uh, what do you think needs to be done to eradicate this problem? Well, I know the answer if you really want it. Okay. <laughs> all, the, I, all the research we do, all the work we do, all the fundraising we do is all good should be done. Makes you feel good to do it. But the fact is, the government should be doing it all. Shouldn't have to I'm waiting for the bomb to go off. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's oh, what I wait for. He's got some answer. Yeah. Oh. The government should do it all. What is this, communism? You shouldn't have to go out with your hat in your hand and say, let's raise money for cancer, for heart disease, for diabetes. Okay. Um, do you know what diabetes is? <laughs> I believe I do, yes. Okay, could you tell me? I'm not certain <laughs> of the accuracy, but uh, it's a malfunction of the uh, glands that produce insulin for the digestion of sugar. Wow. No. <laughs> He's a smart guy. I, I think he really is Felix. I mean, I feel like I'm looking yeah. at Felix. All right, the very good answer. 
Okay. Um, so your question. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm learning. I'm new. I don't have anything to look at. Why do you have to have anything to look at? Because I'm new. I'm just learning, you know? Don't learn on me. <laughs> don't don't learn on a policeman. <laughs> he is flirting. He yeah. kept, like, hitting the paper out of my hand. Mm. So the video, like... And I, I would put feisty like, old coot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think the athletes of today are better or more mediocre than the athletes of the past? More mediocre? What kind of English is that? More <laughs> mediocre. <laughs> mediocre. -er? <laughs> I'm reading what I have here. You know, into the best of what I got. You asked me something that you want to know. <laughs> yeah. All right. He just knocked the paper out of my hand. Okay. Just now. If um, if you had to have sex with. One of these people, who would you choose? Paula Jones, um, Monica Lewinsky, or Hillary Clinton? You. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, oh, my dear good man. <laughs> he doesn't waste any time. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, I you. I know about diabetes and you. <laughs> That's a good question. He's still into it. He's, hey, got a, he's got a second kid coming, right? But that's a good move. Yeah. Even for an old guy, he's got a good move. All righty. Do you think uh, Barbara Streisand's marriage will last? I didn't know she was married. <laughs> I wasn't invited. <laughs> um, he keeps hitting the paper. I can't see anything, so I'm all thrown off. All right, he's hitting the paper. So My what? Don't get thrown. It's okay. Nervous. You just do it. <laughs> Have you ever cheated on your wife? No. Okay. Um. When did no become seven syllables? No. No. Uh, <laughs> no uh. <laughs> Do you think OJ is innocent or guilty? I believe he's guilty. Hey. Um. Sounds like he's getting annoyed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't a hot chick, he'd be totally he'd, uh, out of he'd there. He'd be out of there already. Yeah. I know I would be the same way. What are you giggling about? Because every time I have this paper in my hand, he keeps going like this. No, no, ask your own questions, you know, like that. Well, those are your own questions. Yeah, so he wouldn't let me read off the paper. He kept trying to take it away, so I'm just, like, laughing. She I'm just said, how big is your genitalia? Damn. Uh, <laughs> oh. I would not want to know. I was looking in those cataract hazed eyes. Um. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh... <laughs> You're throwing me off here. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. One more question. Will we ever see a white heavyweight champion? Why not? Have you ever been attracted to another man? No. Okay. Um, would you have sex with Monica Lewinsky? Don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. That's a stupid question. Again. What would you rather get? A kick in the nuts or a punch in the throat? Where would you rather get a kick in the nuts or a punch in the throat? Yeah. All right. Well, that's a pretty good question. <laughs> Is that smart? <laughs> Let's see. That's one that got him mad. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Mr. Randall. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have kicked him in the nuts. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he prefers a punch in the throat. Oh, sorry. Oh. He probably thought you were dangerous at that point. <laughs> I think he totally didn't expect it to Excuse come. Excuse me, there's a young lady over there who asked me if she could kick me in my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you did a nice job, Siobhan. Thank you, Howard. Good for you. First time out there. You obviously had some adverse conditions with Tony Randall pushing that piece of paper yeah. around, and you handled yeah. yourself like a professional. Thank you very much. I, I tried hard. Good. And Congratulations. And then they were immediately thrown out of the event. I see. <laughs> Escorted out of the building. Tony, turn him in. Well, what Tony's are you going to do? Yeah, he's a bull. talking to everybody, you know, wow, oh, she said this and that. <laughs> Tony's a baby. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, thank you, Siobhan. Good work. Thank you. Wow. Looking forward to your next interview. Show every night except tonight.